it's extremely important to understand the direction of travel for interest rates when managing a multi-asset portfolio. Interest rates are at the heart of how we value assets that sit in the portfolio, so by inherently understanding the path of interest rate policy, we're better able to manage the volatility in client portfolios. Interest rates have been low for the past 40 years. This has predominantly been driven by structural factors relating to inflation. If we think about the high wage inflation and the high oil prices we had in the mid-70s, you're coming from a period of very high inflation, very high interest rates, to a period where inflation has fallen significantly and alongside that interest rates have fallen in sync. This last decade of low interest rates has had the effect of raising asset prices in real assets. So that has created wealth for people who own their properties and who own equities on the stock market. What it hasn't worked well for those people at the other end of the financial spectrum who are asset renters and perhaps haven't had the uplift in asset prices that has improved their wealth. This has led to a level of inequality that is now being highlighted by more populist parties across both Europe and in America. As these more left-leaning political parties gain prominence, we're starting to see policy shift to that of a more pro-fiscal stance than we had previously in the eras of austerity in the UK. Raising an excessive amount of government debt may worry financial investors who then start to believe that governments having raised so much money can't repay that debt as their spending on infrastructure and other social policies don't come to fruition. That can cause capital to flow out of an economy, forcing central banks to raise interest rates in order to entice money back into their respective economies. With the political sand still shifting quite significantly, we'll be looking out to 2020 to understand if these changes in government will lead to a significant pickup in government borrowing and thereby spending, and whether that will force interest rates higher in both the UK and the United States.